All right, let's talk about this cart right here. This thing is packed full of shoes. This is one stop on one of our local sourcing routes. So many people are asking us how we bring in so many shoes and the answer is very, very simple. We are valuable to the system. In this one cart at this one stop, there is over $1,000 in net profit based on the comps on the marketplaces that we are using. In today's video, we are gonna share exactly how we become valuable to the system. We're gonna talk about what the system actually is. And more importantly, we're gonna talk about how you can create situations like this where you live. Let's dive in. Hello, everybody. My name is Ryan. My beautiful wife, Lindsay, and I, we go by Rinzi. We are full-time shoe resellers. We buy and sell both new and used shoes full-time. We've been doing it for about four years, and we use this channel to share exactly what we do and how we do it so you can leapfrog some of our mistakes and get closer to consistent wins. One of the biggest things that you have to do as a successful shoe reseller is find good sources of profitable inventory. It's pretty simple. Got to bring in stuff that will make you money. Now, we've put out videos about HVTs, high volume thrifts. We put out videos about how to lower your buy cost. But one of the things that we haven't specifically talked about is being valuable to the system. Now, when we talk about the system, we're talking about the managers, employees uh, at the thrift stores. We're talking about the thrift stores themselves. We're talking about other resellers. We're talking about the marketplaces that you're using, the, the connected system of things that will allow you to be successful. And of course, you are part of the system. We like to consider ourselves valuable to the system for a number of reasons, but it's super important to understand that there is a system. It's you part of something else. And in order to be part of something else and be successful, you have to be valuable to that thing. You have to contribute into it so that it can contribute back to you. Today, we're gonna share the seven things that allow us to be valuable to the system so that you can do this in your area. You may have to do a little traveling. Those of you that have been following us for any amount of time know that we wish that the thrifts that were five minutes down the road were as fruitful uh, as the ones that are three or four hours away, but sometimes you gotta travel. But if you take into consideration the things that we're gonna talk about in today's video, you will become more valuable to the system and more doors will open up so you can fill carts like this one. At the very end, we're also gonna show you uh, some of the pairs that we picked up today, so stay tuned. All right, there are seven things that will help you be more valuable to the system. Other Ryan's gonna tell you about it. I'm gonna drink some OJ. All right, number one is do not haggle. I know we want the best possible buy cost. There's lots of other ways that you can lower the buy cost, but if you start trying to haggle with people, they're gonna dread when you walk into the thrift. All right, number two is never complain. <laughs> Just, it seems so simple. Do not be a person who's complaining about things. There's always something you can do about the situation. Don't complain. Number three is very, very simple. Just be honest. Be honest with who you are and what you are doing. We are always telling people we are full-time shoe resellers. We're buying these shoes, we're cleaning them up, and then we're selling them online. Just be honest. Number four is follow through. What we mean by that is if you wanna be a full-time shoe reseller, you're gonna be buying shoes. Increase your knowledge of the brands. Increase your knowledge of how to clean shoes and follow through, buy shoes. All right, number five may sound a little tricky, but number five is buy a lot of shoes. Now, if you're going into high volume thrifts, if you've increased your brand knowledge, if you've increased your knowledge on how to clean shoes, you will be able to buy a lot of shoes. Be valuable, buy a lot of shoes. All right, number six might be the most important, but we still have one more after this. Number six is never, ever, ever, ever return shoes. Only buy shoes that are gonna be profitable and that you are gonna sell. Never return shoes. And number seven, should be the easiest one for all of us to do. It's super simple and it goes a very long way. Just be friendly. <laughs> Lots of people that are working in the thrifts are working long days, they're working hard. Just be friendly. All right, got everything loaded into the car. Didn't have enough Ikea bags today. There's two Ikea bags filled underneath there. Let's go dive in and see exactly what we picked up. Let's dive in to this one stop. We are back home now. Uh, we have a little cleaning room here in our house, separate from our warehouse. 
We're gonna dive into some of the pairs that we picked up so you can see specifically some of the brands and styles. But guys, do those seven things. Communicate with people and so many doors will open up. You'll know when thrifts are going to be restocking and have full shelves so you can be super selective but still bring in a lot of inventory. And you're gonna know when to not go to the thrift so you don't spend the time going places and picking up very little. All right, let's dive in and see what we got. All right, here we go. First pair, we picked up a real nice pair of men's keen leather waterproof boots. We're just gonna go through these real quick. Next up, we have a pair of little kids vans. They've got the back zip. We always do good with vans. And we got a pair of youth Nike golf spikes. Again, these are in great condition. This is all before we have done any cleaning. Everybody loves Birkenstocks. Look at these. We got lucky with these. These were just barely put out on the shelf. Women's size nine. We also do really good with Puma. These are a pair of men's Puma suede. Now, some of these are going to be in better condition than others, but a lot of these need very, very little cleaning. And that's the whole point. We do great with Vionic. You're going to see a couple pairs of Vionic. The point is to look through a lot of shoes and only bring home the ones that need very little cleaning. Here is a pair of women's vans. Going to use the pick to get some of that stuff out. Ultra Kush vans. Going to see a couple pairs of Timberlands in here. This is a pair, a youth pair. Easy little brush up and those will be good to go. Let's see what else we got here. Most people would skip over these in the thrift, but we sell a ton of New Balance, even when they have the Velcro across the front. These are leather walkers, meaning people use them to walk. And uh, we do great with these. Also picked up some Toms. We, when we're bringing in Toms, we look for a great size. This is a women's eight. And we look for very interesting designs rather than just like a plain old Tom. And obviously good condition. I think we got another, here's another pair of Toms that we brought in. Just like crazy colorways, crazy embroidery. This is a women's seven. Toms will sell. You can make money on Toms. Here is a pair of men's Columbia waterproof lows. Uh, water, anything waterproof is good. And as always, you want to make sure there's plenty of tread and life left. G Defy, Gravity Defy. These things are wild. We pick up men's and women's. Look up the brand Gravity Defy, G Defy. Look at that. Those are nice. Clogs with a K. We picked these up. Gonna have to pick out some of the stuff in the bottom there, but these are in great condition. <clears throat> if we're gonna pick up sandals, we wanna make sure it's got a strong brand behind it. Merrill is exactly that. These are uh, leather strap sandals, still got plenty of life left. Boom. And then as I mentioned before, here's another pair of Vionic. Probably the same person that donated, it's the same size. Vionic, well-made, good following. You guys know LL Bean does well for us. These are waterproof youth boots. Plenty of life left, lots of tread. Let's see. We got these Sunflower New Balance. These are the 501 suede's and they've got that ripple sole. Obviously we do really well with New Balance. When you're sourcing anything that's suede, uh, we stick to stuff that, uh, in terms of suede that's not gonna need cleaning because suede is very, very tricky. Jump on YouTube uh, here and look for professional suede cleaners. But we stick to just sourcing suede that does not need cleaning here's a pair of uh women's nike dual fusion runs just a, gonna take very little time to clean those up now this is probably the dirtiest pair that we picked up 
but a little grandma's will be able to clean this off. These are waterproof LL Bean Lows in women's. These are super cute. These are a fleece lined little kids Nike. I think these are called Roche boots. Uh, we've sold these in women's. We found uh, probably four or five pairs in women's throughout the years and they always sell well. Uh, these are actually little kids versions. Let's see what else we got here. Okay. Here is a pair of Converse, but more specifically, these are Converse double tongue, uh, which we always like to find multiple tongue Converse. We've actually found pairs that have five tongues, and I know that sounds crazy, but... Uh, those usually sell well. You want to make sure they're in good condition still. These are a women's pair. DC is a brand that a lot of people might pass up on, but we do really well. These are going to need a little bit of cleaning up, uh, but it's super easy with the magic eraser right here and a little grandma's and we're good to go. DC in both men, women's, oh, all, men's, women's and youth sell well. And these are a pair of tumbled leather Puma baskets. You guys can't see, but this is super, super buttery soft leather. Um, these will clean up nice. Another pair of Timberlands. Not a lot of cleaning to do on these, but these will these will do really well for us. Then we have a pair of all leather Skechers slip resistant work shoes. So a lot of people that may work in restaurants or uh, Places where you obviously you need slip resistant shoes and all one color. We'll pick these up in all black and we'll pick these up in all white. Uh, and they usually do well for us. Last row here is, these are super cool. These are women's New Balance Vibram uh, Primaloft boots. Uh, these, we're gonna pick up winter type boots all year long. These are super dope. We do great with Cole Haan. These are a women's uh, size 11. These are called the 1928. I think we call them penny pinchers uh, because they've got where you can put a penny right here, but these are also like a velvet. Uh, those do well for us. Cole Haan's a great brand. Sanita, this is a nice clog. Make sure you do the twist test where you grab the front and the back and you really try to twist these because it'll tell you if there's any dry rot and if it starts to crack or you hear something, uh, you want to make sure you leave those pairs at the thrift. But when you do the twist test and they pass, bring them home. Also, pinch the back heel and you're good to go. Look at these beautiful, beautiful Timberlands. They've got the padded collar. Uh, it's a beautiful green colorway. These are women's. Super dope. These are interesting that we uh, love finding. These are Vibram, they're called Vibram Five Fingers. Uh, obviously each one of your toes goes in here. We picked these up in men's and women's. This is a really cool colorway. Keep an eye out for these. Always double and triple check the toe areas because those are the places that are usually cracked or there might be a little tear and people donate them. Uh, but if they are not cracked and not damaged, bring them home. All right, we got a big pair of men's 14 wide LL Bean waterproof boots. Again, great tread. 14 wide is a big size, but when you have a bigger buying budget, you can go on those bigger sizes. And the last couple, we have another pair of dance goes. These are the patent leather, twist test passed, good to go. Here is a pair of Adidas Pure Boost. These are in great condition. You're gonna need a little bit of cleaning up. We've sold a bunch of these in both men's and women's. Echo, this is Echo Gore-Tex. Uh, Echo's a great brand. Obviously anything Gore-Tex are good to go. We'll use a little black uh, Kiwi polish on here to, to spruce these things up. These are a pair of Men's 15 Skechers. Goga Mat Ultra Goes. They kind of just slip on. Even something like this, the Skechers brand is in our top five uh, brands sold, but something like this is just like an everyday shoe that a guy is gonna throw on 
a big guy. These are men's 15, and uh, Skechers does really well for us. And then three boots left. All three are bogs. We've got these camo kids bogs. You want to make sure you're looking out for the heel tread when it comes to bogs. And you also, this is all like a neoprene. You want to make sure that there's no rips or tears. We got another pair of kids bogs right here. These will do well. And then the last pair is a pair of uh, traditional classic high bogs for women. All right, that's what we got for you guys today. As always, if you have any questions, you can jump into the comments below. You can reach out to us on Instagram at Rinzi Now. The adventure continues, guys. No matter where you are on your adventure, we hope you're enjoying each and every single step. We'll see you in the next video.